Everywhere. It's everywhere. Hello. This is the third video from our trip exploring South Dakota for new fossil sites. The first part of this day's hunt uh, was pretty slow. It, there was a lot of hours of walking with very little finding. Although I didn't get it on camera, our best finds were these three Paleolithic spear points. My research shows that these are likely Folsom points from about 10,000 years ago. But the next area we moved on to hunt was a lot different. All right, we are at a new ranch here. We are here to hunt more ammonites and baculites, and they are everywhere. We have been driving over them on the ridge on the way in. Matter of fact, here's one right here. Ah, there's a piece of baculites. Okay, where do you want to go? Maybe up the ridge. Okay, we will head up the ridge. There's more chunks. There's more chunks right there at the end of my foot. It's just everywhere out here. We're going to try and find some nice big chunks today. Everywhere. It's everywhere. All right, looky here. Oh, let me keep it. Oh. I'll have to get the hammer and we'll clear this out. I'll bet these two pieces may go together. Cool. And here's another piece uh, beside me. Look at the suture patterns on that. That's really cool looking. Uh, cool. Bring it. It was it all together. Well, here, bring it, bring the hammer over here. I want, there's one here, but it's kind of stuck in. I don't want to just yank on it. You got a big long one? Well, there's two chunks. One of them looks to be about maybe five inches, and the other one's about three inches. I think they may go together. Oh, they do go together. Look at that right there. Cool. Yeah, look at that. That's a definite keeper right there. Is covered with it. I'm sure there's got to be some complete ones in here. Oh, okay, you're excavating one. Let's see how far back it goes. Here, careful, you're because you're pulling the covering off of it when you brush. Is that the end of it there? Yeah, it looks like it's. Exactly. 
Still very cool. Okay, we got a little pocket of them right here. Here, 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 here. So I'm gonna dig these out and see if I can get lucky if any of this actually, yeah, it's badly broken. If any of this stuff will actually goes together. another one so you're going from here this piece goes right there and extends back so it's broken in a lot of pieces and of course these plant roots are probably screwing something up Okay, while well, I was just recovering that last piece, look what Hunter found. This, go all the way from the tip of my boot here, all the way down here. I'm gonna go get some foil and we're gonna pull that out. Sweet. That one's not going in the bucket. All right, so these are some of the uh, bigger specimens that we uh, found for the day. Uh, just in pure size, uh, these two pieces here, these are from a type of uh, baculite called Baculites grandis. Uh, obviously, you can tell why it got its name. Uh, these are quite a bit larger than the normal size ones that you get. Unfortunately, these were the only two bits of that that we found. Uh, hopefully, if we get to go back to that spot again, we might find a complete one. Some of this, uh, you know, everything was broken up. Nothing you f we find out there is actually still intact. It's all in sections. So it's a matter of trying to find something that is just barely eroding out and actually be able to recover it all. Got close, but we we didn't ha we don't have anything that's one hundred percent complete. Uh, some of the longer sections that we have here that have been able to go back together. It's a pretty nice sized chunk right there. And some of it, <clears throat> sorry, some of it has this really cool orange crystal on the inside of it. A lot of them, like uh, you see here, it it's just a, a limestone infill. There's, uh, there's, there's no shell. This is just the internal mold of it. You can see, like, this has a little bit of the shell left, but it, it's in pretty bad shape. But, like I was saying, some of them have this really cool orange crystal. It's probably a calcite filling the inside. And, surprisingly... These three pieces all have that crystal infill 
and they were not found next to each other. I, these are actually picked up, I think, about like maybe 10 foot away from each other. But as I was going through all my pieces, uh, I, was, I noticed that all the all three of these had the, the same uh, crystal. And then I noticed that, hey, these two go together. And then I got to looking. And... Let's see which way this goes on here. Which way do you go? There we go. These two actually fit together. So, my plan I want to get this face and this face cut and polished to show it off better and then uh, remount it on there and uh, put all these together. I think that'll look pretty cool. Have a little bit of that, that uh, orange crystal showing. <clears throat> then you can see this, this is all, this is all one piece. You can see where I've already glued these parts back together and fortunately you know weathering is what it is it's not in the best shape but these parts did belong together and these parts do belong together although it is missing it is missing some part of however much was in here it's just gone And this weird looking bit here, this was on the end here. So I'll just have to find a way to, uh, I think it was on like that. But the best find was this one. And of course, you know, the way it works, it was also the very last find. It, you know, we we're trying to get out of there and we we're trying to get this thing excavated out. I wish. I had footage of this, but my batteries had already died by the time we got to this, so I, I couldn't film it. But when we found it, this piece and this piece were the only things visible on the surface. And yes, this crusty, broken, jagged chunk actually does belong on the end of that somehow. It, it's got some, the ends are broken. So it's not going to make a nice clean fit like these do, but that actually does belong there. And so then all of this was actually excavated out of the ground. And the top part here that is missing some bit, that actually goes on there like that. So... That was a very, very successful day of hunting baculites. Most of the time when you find, all, all you're finding are individual little sections like this that have worn out and you don't find uh, any other adjoining pieces to reassemble them. One of the really cool things about these is that they can be polished. And you can see I polished a few of them here like this one here is, uh, this actually started out looking pretty much just like this. It's very dull. You can see I kind of started working on one end of that a little bit. But they start off very, very rough, very dull. But with a little bit of work, can actually be polished. Even when they don't have uh, their original shell left, I mean, that's obviously easy to polish. But just that, uh, that center stone infill will polish up. All right, if this is the first video that you're seeing, then uh, click on this right up here and you can go back and see the first of the series. 
And if you'd like to see more of my fossil hunting videos, then click on this playlist link right up here. And as always, if you'd like to stay up to date with all my latest videos, then click right over here to uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.